Yo, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hey Home Plays. We're back with a surprise video. This was actually not a regularly planned video, but I ordered some Shining Fates cards, a couple pin collections, and a Pikachu V box, which I will be opening up on the channel. But this one came in first, and uh, the other ones are still not coming in for about another week. But I just have to open this one. Um, I can't, <laughs> it's just me, I can't let it sit here and not open it, um, the pain, the, the agony that is waiting, um, is really getting to me. So we're gonna open this one up in this video, it's just gonna be a shorter video, just opening this one Pulte Guy Shining Fates collection, um, but if you wanna see more Shining Fates openings in the future, it's kind of hard set to get a hold of, but, um, but make sure to, to leave a like and uh and subscribe and share this video with all your friends and and have them like and subscribe so that uh you know maybe eventually something so that we can grow this channel and maybe we can see more shining fates in the future but let's let's get down to it we're gonna we're gonna crack into this box so this is the pulte geist mad party pin collection box as you see we got cute little pulte geist there I also wonder if that one's uh, authentic or not. Uh, if you know about that, then uh, playing Sword and Shield, um, you have the op. There's a, there's a chance that the the Pulte Geist or the Sinistee, it will have a little sticker on the bottom of their cup that uh, shows authentication. But we're gonna rip into the top of this box here. Oh God, this feels ex this is an expensive. <laughs> okay, oh boy. All right. And it has this nice black plastic here. I actually thought that was just going to be a clear blacking, but it's a nice black matte backing on here. So that's cool. Then we got the promo card. Looking really nice. You know, out of all the, like, um, the Pokemon that are based off, like, real-life objects, I think I, I like Poltegeist the most. I, uh, I don't like Klefki, though. But that is a really nice car. Card. It's got its ability T break and Mad Party. It's a nice card. We're gonna put that in the back here as a pull. We're gonna count it because it's a nice hollow. Then we got the, the little Poltegeist pin there. Really nice. Probably gonna wear that on the jacket. Really nice pin. Got that, and then we got the three Shining Fates booster packs and also a code card that gets you that promo in the thing, but we got, oh wow, there's some weight to these. Okay, this one definitely feels heavier. Hmm, but we got a, let's see, we got the Charizard VMAX, so that's the card we're going for, of course. And we got the Dragapult, and we got the Corviknight Shining Fates packs. So we're going to get into... Let's get into the Corviknight first. Let's get into Corviknight. Now with this set, there's no trick when it comes to the... Uh, from what I know, there's no trick when it comes to the code cards as to tell whether there's something good in it or not. But I've heard that... There's like a grading pattern on the ones with the hollow. So let's see if that's true. Hopefully there's something good in here. Two, three, I think it's four from the back to the front for this set. And we'll get in here. It's a water energy. Rusted sword. Volotzel. Gym trainer. Gussiflure. Snalm. Trapinch. Nicket. Buizel, the reverse slot is a reverse spinnerack, and the rare is a hollow indeedy. Oh, they really boost up the hollows on this set. They got the hollow going all through the card. Look at that rainbow effect. All right, so we did get a hollow, so that makes me think that that actually might be the trick. Is that the packs with a hollow slot in them have that gradient pattern. But let's look at the next code card. See if that's true. We're going to get into the Dragon Pult pack next. Save the Shining Charizard for last. Hope he's in that pack. So look at this code card on here. It's also got that pattern. Let's 
One, two, three, four to the front. So maybe, well, let's see. We got the Grass Energy, Ball Guy, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Spinarak, Kufant, Gossifleur, Snom, Coughing, Trap and Traverse, and the rare is a non hollow Manaphy. All right, so doesn't seem like that's the trick. So is there a trick to this set? I guess not. Guess there's no trick to this set, but let's get into the last pack of this short opening here. The Shining Fates Charizard VMAX pack. Look how beautiful this board. We're just going to take a minute to admire this pack art. Look how cool he looks. Let's hope for this guy here. So let you all know, I did pay above retail for this. It's hard to find them in stores, so... I did end up paying a little extra for this, so we're, uh, I'm hoping it was worth it. So far, we haven't pulled anything too crazy. Two, three, uh, four from the front to the, oh, almost put that rare at the front. That would have been bad. Okay. I got a Leaf Energy, Thwacky, Lucio, Rusted Sword, Morpico, Dossifleur, Cacnea, Chutel. Eevee, boo hoo hoo, in the Pulte Geist pack, we got the shiny Pulte Geist. Let's go, in the Pulte Geist box. Wow, what are the odds of that? That we pull the shiny Pulte Geist in the Pulte Geist pin collection box. Wow, isn't that just a perfect, and what's the rare? A hollow indeedy. So we got... That, I'll call that a double pack. I mean, it's not a true god pack, but that's... You know, we got a hollow and a shiny Poltegeist. That is definitely worth it. We're going to get that into a sleeve there. And then we got the hollow Indeedy. So, quick recap of this video. We got the hollow Indeedy, shiny Poltegeist. That was definitely our pull for the box. Definitely worth it. And the another hollow Indeedy. So, we doubled up on the hollows. Uh, oh well. And then we got the promo Poltegeist. So, a lot of Poltegeist and Indeedy. So anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, as before, remember to like and subscribe. This is Hayon Plays, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.